Okay. All right, so welcome, uh, Fanny. Uh, you're going to be presenting La Fresque de l'eau, the water puzzle workshop. Yes. Um, good evening, everybody. So the, the water puzzle workshop is a um, workshop which has been made by a French uh, association called Odyssey, uh, which is an association that aims at um, um, educating people on uh, water challenges. So the association built a different kind of workshops and tools um, friendly for to 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 help uh, people using um, uh, these tools to uh, to be educated on water challenges. Um, the, know, the those workshops can have different forms: exhibitions, games, videos blog posts, etc. Um, they are created by volunteers and they are based on verified sources. Uh, the association runs several workshops, including the water puzzle. Uh, so the water puzzle workshop was created in 2021 by Laurie Cailloet and Sébastien Legrand, which are both uh, hydrologists and based in uh, Lyon in France. And the goal of the workshop is to make participants realize that the water going through the tap traveled a long way before arriving there and is limited. Uh, so this workshop is for three hours and uh, is split into five parts. Uh, in each part, we will use cards and collectively the participants will read those cards and you'll and use causal links to place them on the board and it is made to be collaborative it is based on um, collective uh, intelligence so um, everyone has to listen to each other and let everyone participate um, uh, i can uh, if you like i can show you so there are four four games the, I can show you, yes, I will show you. Uh, just, I just finished that. Uh, there are four games. Uh, I told you five parts. Uh, so four games. The first game is the natural water cycle. Uh, the second game is the human uh, water cycle. The third game is about um, human activities and the impact of these activities on water resources and on water cycle. The fourth game is about uh, climate change and how climate change impacts uh, the natural water cycle. And to finish that, there is a, uh, the last part is a debate and dis discussion about uh, all we've seen and which is introduced by, by the water footprint um, and uh, what are the solutions we can do. So let me show you. So we, we can do it online. Uh, or we can do it uh, just uh, uh, in person. In, in person. person, yes. Um, so in person, we have the cards to to do, to show the participants. If we do it online, uh, here is the template. I will show you the template in, in English. So just... while you share the screen, you should be able to share the screen, no problem. Yes. Uh, what I yes. mentioned was this could be a potential. Um, activity for some of the groups that both uh, Micah, Christopher, and John, who uh, had to leave, um, are uh, tasked uh, with uh, convening every month, uh, especially because it's an online uh, activity. Uh, I've done uh, versions of uh, the the workshop. I've done the climate fresk. I've done uh, the biodiversity fresk, uh, and uh, we're we're gonna schedule one uh, with uh, Fanny uh, for all who can come. Uh, it's a great way to build this collective intelligence. Does the sharing work, Fanny? Do you need me to make you a co-host? Let me make you a co-host, just to make sure. I'm just trying to open it on my because. On my computer, so okay. I will show you the correction. Yeah. It's just taking time opening. So here we are. Can I show my share my screen? Uh, yes. There, it's working. 
Yes, so it's coming screen. on in a second. Yeah, there we go. Great. So maybe I, first I will show you the template. Uh, so to start with, here is the template with um, em empty uh, board. So here are uh, all the cards we are, are going to distribute to all the participants along the, the workshop. So for the game one, so, sorry, with my habit problem is my Zoom. Let me do this one. Yeah. So here are all the cards we are going to use. First game, second game, third game. And uh, at the end, here is what we obtain. So the first game is about the natural water cycle. So the idea, the idea is to um, kind of, uh, because we've all seen the natural water cycle at one point, but uh, this one is quite um, uh, detailed. Uh, it's very detailed. It's very detailed, yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and uh, with interesting information and we, showing uh, where are the main uh, reservoirs of um, uh, water on earth and um, uh, this will help uh, understanding what are the issues for the next games because the next game is the human water cycle so we can see uh, where the water where do we withdraw water uh, from which uh, stock we withdraw water on earth and uh, what do we do with this um, with this water? Um, the third game is about human activities. So we talk about the main human activities that will that will have an impact on the water resources and water uh, cycle as well. So here is all the human activities that uh, we've listed. Uh, the four main ones are the activities that will. Um, Withdrawal uh, water, agriculture, household activities, electricity production, and industry. Um, and there are also activities that will have an impact on water, so which are transport, deforestation, and land use planning. And then we will uh, list all the impact column by column. So giving uh, to start with, with a couple of uh, impacts that uh, will um, that these activities will will make, like uh, introduce pollutants, uh, water waste management, etc., soil and vegetation uh, cover modification, and then those impacts will have other impacts, like uh, water quality degradation, water cycle. Um, uh, change in water cycle cover land, change in uh, water flow modification. At the end, this will uh, bring us to biodiversity loss, uh, increase of extreme events and water scarcity, and all of that will have an impact on human societies. So um, this is made by, um, as you can see, there is um, underneath each card, there is a Sorry, I had I have to use my trackpad because my mouse doesn't work anymore. I'm, I'm not very good with trackpad. So underneath um, there is um, a text so that a participant can uh, read what it is about. Like for example, solar and vegetation cover modification. It's written: human activities damage the soil. Land development leads to soil sealing, concrete, asphalt, while some agricultural practices compact the soil. The modification of, of vegetation cover is a change of the vegetation type on the surface of soil. Station and land development contribute to the degradation of the vegetation cover. Today, 33% of the land is moderately to highly degrad degraded due to the erosion, salinization, compaction, acidification, and chemical pollution of soils. So the idea was when we give this card to the participants that they find out which are the activities that will um, lead to this impact. 
So when they find out which activity lead to this impact, they will connect them with these um, arrows and, uh, and link them to the star. And how so it's a true exercise in, in collective intelligence in trying to create these connections. So Fanny uh, will act as a facilitator and guide uh, the process, but the idea is for people to do it themselves as a team. Exactly, yes, exactly. It's really a collaborative um, exercise. It's really a workshop and each one, everybody has to talk with each other. I think it is the, uh, this activity and uh, the other one can say, no, I think that's this one. And so they have to discuss between each other and to, to find out uh, the solution. So that's uh, the important thing about this um, workshop. And the water puzzle is modeled on la fresque du climat the climate fresque and the climate fresque mm -hmm. has been um uh in existence for close to uh seven years now if not eight, 2015 yeah, yeah uh exactly. and uh we're almost to the point where a million people will have gone through a climate fresque so it's primarily uh french let's be clear but it has been translated into many languages uh the uh water uh puzzle as well as being translated into multiple languages and uh, just as a matter of context, all of these tools in some way, shape, or form are being used right now to train uh, the upper uh, management levels in major corporations, uh, as well as in France, uh, most of the key um, administrative uh, directors uh, of the major uh, uh, public ministries and whatnot. So it's a real... Uh, uh, a tool to get back to basics. Uh, everyone thinks that they know the water cycle. Turns out that they don't. <laughs> and all of the people that, that are um, either elected officials who, or um, administrative uh, uh, representatives of uh, this ministry, that ministry, uh, will definitely benefit from this. So I was proposing uh, that um, this could be an activity uh, that uh, your IEEE uh, groups, plural, uh, Micah, Chris, and then uh, John, uh, who, yes, uh, uh, Micah, I think, had to... Um, uh, leave and uh, or is leaving. Oh no, you're you're still here. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make the connection again to uh, to to Fanny so she can uh, explain like the entire process. Uh, it is a three hour long process. It sounds long, but it's gonna take that amount of time to go through all of the different decks of cards. And uh, I think you mentioned this, Fanny, in the beginning, uh, the latter end of the workshop is a uh, collaborative discussion based on what people have learned or what they thought they knew coming in, what they're taking out, et cetera. Yes. Yes, exactly. Um, that's um, very important that it is collaborative, that uh, people can uh, exchange between uh, each other. And uh, it's uh, um, the facilitator is here to help um, people, people uh, participants going through the workshop and uh, answer to the questions as well. Um, maybe I can go a bit further through the, the workshop because I talked about the third game. The fourth game is about um, climate change. And the climate change, we go back on the water cycle. And the idea of this fourth game is to uh, see how climate change impacts the water cycle. So for that, we've got a couple of, um, of cards like this one, the blue, the red cards and the blue cards here. So red and blue. So which uh, show um, either if uh, the climate change will increase uh, um, the in intensity or increase the stock quantity or if the climate change will decrease in intensity 
or a decrease uh, stock quantity. So in some cases, as a precipitation, for example, uh, it's going to be both uh, increase in some places uh, and decrease in some places. But for the other ones, it's very important uh, to, to see how climate change will impact on the, the water cycle to, to understand the, the issue issues. Uh, yes, there is. Um, and we talk a lot also about the soil and the plants and living beings, which is an important uh, stock. Um, so to understand how it is uh, impacted as well uh, by human activities and also by uh, climate change. The, it has a very high importance in the water cycle, the, the soil. And uh, then the workshop, uh, to finish the workshop, we, we talk about uh, water footprint. Uh, the idea is to uh, understand that uh, everything we do, everything we buy, we need water for everything. We need water to, 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 to for the construction of a smartphone. We need the water to um, to provide the beef to to um, uh, to for the const not construction. I don't have the words, but for the construction of the um, of the clothes. Um, uh, the production, production process. The production, production process. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> sorry for my English. I am not in English uh, uh, mood at the minute. I was doing. Um, um, a water puzzle in French right now, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so the idea is, is to see how much water we use for those ones. For example, I don't know if you have an idea of uh, how much water is needed to for the production of uh, one kilogram of beef. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> you know already? Oh no, I did never count it, but uh, I grew up on a farm, so I know how much a calf or a cow drinks. <laughs> if you're expecting a cow to give 20 liters of milk per day, you know at a minimum what it's drinking, right? <laughs> Probably around 50 liters. 50 liters for um, one kilogram of beef? No, or no, 50 liters for a cow day. For ah, per day. drink okay. per day. <laughs> okay. Would be my, would be an assumption, roughly. Yeah, it's it's on the order of thousands of meters cubed, I think, isn't it? Of course, of course, it would be. Well, liters are cubed, right? So, but no, uh, meters cubed. Meters cubed. Yeah. Uh, not that much. It's uh, for one for more for one kilogram of beef. Okay. For one kilogram of beef is fifteen thousand uh, liters. But it's, uh, okay, so only fifteen cubic meters per day. <laughs> I mean, cubic meters. No, but not per day. Uh, for one Total. kilogram of beef, yeah. to, for the production of one kilogram of beef, and it is meters. it is not mainly due um, uh, uh, to the water that the beef is, is the cow no, is going to be. It's drink. growing the feed. Yes, exactly. Of everything. Yes. Yes. The, everything. the main amount of water is to grow the the feed for the cows, the cereals. So it's an interesting point because uh, usually people don't have the uh, idea that uh, it's so much water is needed uh, for one kilogram of beef, for uh, one smartphone, for one for jeans or whatever. So, but we also have to look about look at what is consumed water, and what is returned water, liquids, and so on. And let's let's not forget that the total amount of water around the globe stays the same. Yes, it is. Yes, exactly. It right? is what we say so in the, the first, uh, that is, the that first is, game. That is number one, right? Yes. And what's even more fascinating is that the same molecules or atoms of water that we consume today are the same ones that have been with the Earth's systems since the beginning. That's right. When I, when I talk to students about uh, astrophysics, I used to tell them that they are made out of garbage. And they are not very happy with me. And then I said, well, but you are all made out of recycled stardust. We all are. So, <laughs> so like we say, we use it, but it is not gone. So I think, I think we have to look at it in that perspective. 
Precisely, That's precisely. What, what I like about uh, the water puzzle and the fresque and all these tools is that they're very much aligned with uh, system uh, thinking because it allows you uh, to take a zoom out view uh, and to see the connections that you may not have seen before. So I wouldn't mind trying some of these out. So I'd love to have access to the links to try out the game. I just uh, did the connection as we were speaking uh, to all of you <laughs> so that uh, okay. uh, Fanny can facilitate. Uh, she's on the almost the same time zone as us in North America because she's in the French West Indies. Uh, so it's convenient uh, because of the time span that uh, IEEE has for North America coast to coast. Uh, but I triple E, like we were global, so. Yeah, yeah, but I know you want to start first with potentially North America, but I know you're global, so. Uh, yeah, I, I also included uh, Laurie, uh, who's based in Lyon. Uh, okay. uh, en and, France. Um, en France, exactement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, I triple E's um, uh, main, one of the main offices is in Paris, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Constantinos uh, no, is based there. We have no, no. We have an office in Vienna. In Vienna, okay. But isn't Constantinos in Paris? Uh, no, he's in uh, New York. He's in uh, the states. And... He's in the states. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there's lots to do. <laughs> there's lots to do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying this out. And I have a question: If you have one on climate change, is there a is there a similar game on the carbon cycle? Mm. Does it does it exist? I don't know. I know there are many workshops. The main one, the first one was on climate change. Yeah. And from this one, there are others that have um, emerged, like uh, biodiversity, um, <laughs> alimentation, food. There, 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 there's probably one on carbon or something related yes. to, uh, to carbon. Uh, the the one that's complementary to all of them, uh, there are two. Uh, there's En-ROADS, uh, which is an MIT-based uh, workshop where you're given the tools of how to get below 1.5. Mm. I'll share that with you as well. Okay. I've done it. It's really powerful. And the French-based uh, companion, that, but they have a global version, it's called Two Tons. It is how to get us to two tons per person versus yeah. the 15, 18, whatever uh, uh, we have. Okay. Well, the, the interesting thing also would be to know which games are in which languages, because it would maybe be interesting to so I'll, I'll share this with you. The, the main one, the climate fresque is in 40 languages. Uh, the biodiversity fresque is in three or four. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Fanny, the water puzzle is only French English right now, but Spanish is coming, is I, I think. Yeah, we, we'd like to um, translate it in other languages, but for right. the moment... Uh, yeah, it's a small team, uh, uh, so they could use help uh, as well. Um, I'm going to uh, share uh, all of this with uh, with the entire group, because these are very powerful tools that uh, haven't necessarily crossed the Atlantic as much as we would all like. <laughs> so I'm trying to promote them as much as uh, I can. And maybe you want to... Uh, close up, uh, Fanny. I know you need to go back to the uh, to the session uh, if you want to share some more or yes, uh, whatever. Yes, I can just say that um, to, to finish the workshop with about solutions. What can we do as an, uh, what are the individual actions we can do in uh, many housing uh, household uses, um, consumption, gardening. Uh, and uh, as a citizen as well, and also what are collective actions we can do on uh, different activities like agriculture, industry, construction, water management, and others. So um, the idea is to finish with a kind of a positive um, a note so that we know what we can do or to help us going in the right direction. So I don't know if you have... Any question? But I would be happy to to facilitate I'm, the, the I'm, workshop I'm, for you. 
Yeah, I know. I, I'm I'm good uh, as it is. Uh, I think it was great that you were able to come and explain all this to uh, uh, Micah and, and Chris. I recorded it. I'm going to stop the recording now. It's going to be shared with the wider group. Um,